these things. Without, without governments committing or committed to globalization, mm -hmm. it will never flourish. Yeah, it because will it will not. It won't try. Why? Because if government does not support the like the first one they mentioned said, if government keeps international borders closed, if the border from Tunisia, the border between Tunisia and Libya is closed, it means Tunisians cannot trade here. Libyans cannot trade over there, so it's closed. Mm. There won't be globalization. So government has to be committed to it. Government has to support it for it to, you know, to succeed, for it to happen. That's the first one. The second one, international trade will be very limited if government put up trade barriers. What are trade barriers? Trade restriction. So if government is coming up with embargoes, if government is coming up with um, ban, if government is coming up with uh, quotas, all these are trade restrictions. So if government, are coming up, if government is coming up with these things, mm. it means different countries will not be able to trade with each other. Okay. And when we are not being able to trade, then there's no globalization. Mm. Okay. The third one, people cannot be free to live and work in overseas countries unless borders are kept open. How are the borders kept open? The borders are kept open if we have access to the country's visa. So just imagine, I wouldn't be here without, mm. if the Libyan government denies my visa. Mm. So that means if the Libyan government denies my visa, I wouldn't be able to come here to teach you. Mm. I won't be able to come to the land of Libya. Obviously. Do you get the point? Yeah. So government has to be committed to it. Without government commitment, there's no globalization. Mm. And the last point here, firms cannot develop their business overseas if planning permission is denied. So a multinational will not be able to set up here if the government of Libya does not allow or permit it. Mm. Is it clear? Clear. Any question about that? No.